Do me a favor, man. Come this way. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. My job is to notice patterns, trends, and tendencies. Give me one second. Good job, man. Good job, man. Banking while black. Another reason why police are called on black people. Like this tweet says, any given Wednesday in America. There's no way that director Ryan Coogler was the only person to walk into this Bank of America branch wearing a hat, sunglasses, and a mask on a chilly yet sunny January day during the pandemic. He is world famous for giving us movies like Black Panther, Creed, and Fruitvale Station, which is an account of when Oscar Grant was killed by the police in Coogler's hometown of Oakland, by the way. Mr. Coogler didn't want to get noticed, so he avoided telling bank staff out loud the denominations of bills he wanted, nor did he want notes being counted by a noisy machine before he walked out with a lot of cash in front of people who knows he's got it. More on this in a second. After all, it was nine months before this that a man reported to the Atlanta Police Department that he was robbed in a Buckhead hotel for the same amount of money. It wouldn't surprise me if Ryan Coogler was aware of news like this. I mean, he had been filming Black Panther 2 in Georgia. Now, if you say, well, bankers and tellers are also aware of bank robberies in and around Atlanta. I mean, it's not every day that someone sticks up the joint using their bank card, entering their pin, and handing over their ID. But it's clear from the audio of the bank teller's call to the police that she was, quote, shook up. It's important to note that the teller admitted she didn't read the name on his ID, although she acknowledged that it was from California. She said that she didn't know if Kugler had a gun, but... The dispatcher put the police en route anyway, despite wondering herself if Coogler was trying to be discreet. In fact, that's what Coogler's withdrawal slip said. I would like to withdraw $12,000 cash from my checking account. I would like to be discreet. These are the reasons why law enforcement didn't need to be involved in this transaction. Also, when there isn't a weapon in sight, why? Why is it okay for the police to draw their weapons? seemingly in fear for the sake of precaution, and Coogler is supposed to remain calm, which he did, and I'm glad he did because it could have costed him his life. Even though he only realized the police were going to apprehend him when he heard their Glocks being pulled from their holsters, Coogler was led out of the bank in handcuffs while his people who were waiting for him in the parking lot were detained too. They all were released minutes later. It's not lost on me that the teller, the bank manager, the police, the dispatcher, and the officers were all likely black. It's Atlanta. We all live there in spirit. The first time I ever visited, I wondered if there was a black meeting in Atlanta and I didn't get the memo. Every so often, I have to resist the sudden urge to move there. Both Ryan Coogler and Bank of America stated that this incident never should have happened. In a statement to CBS News, a Bank of America spokesperson added that they apologized to Mr. Coogler. Through a representative, Coogler told CBS News that Bank of America worked with him and addressed it to his satisfaction, and they have moved on. I haven't. There's a pattern. For Rebel HQ, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. If you want to see content from yours truly, click on the hashtag below. I can also be found on all socials at He Gonna Be Alright. Thanks for watching.